Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to set up a file server on Windows Server 2022. In this particular example, I'll be setting one up on my own home network, and I'll be intending to access the file server remotely from different computers. And so we're gonna to touch on all of that in this video. Before we get started with that, if you need RDS licenses, your own copy of Windows Server, or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are on Windows Server 2022. And we're gonna go ahead and open up the server manager. And this is gonna be our starting point for the tutorial. Now, in case the server manager has not already started up for you, we can simply hit the start button in the bottom left. And then here on our right is the server manager. We can click to open. Now, by default, there is an element of storage and file services already configured in most cases on Windows Server 2022. Now, this is apparent by the file and storage services tab here in the server manager. And there we go, if we click on that, we can see our server name right here. I'll click into volumes. And as we can see, we have some level of configuration with a file server as it is. And now that we know that this is configured at least on some level, we're gonna take a further look and we may need to use the server roles and features to actually configure this in the way that we need. All right, so for our next step, we're gonna go up to manage, very top right of the screen here. And we're gonna click on add roles and features. We have some basic Windows information on the first page of the setup wizard. We'll just go ahead and click next and then go right into our installation type. Now we can make a selection here. This is up to us to decide if we wanna do a remote desktop services installation, which will make this machine available to remote users who may wanna connect. We have a video dedicated to the basic configuration of RDS. You can click that right here. For this tutorial and for this server, we're gonna to stick to the role-based or feature-based installation. And we'll click next. Now by default, typically you'll have your local server show up here on the server selection tab. It's wise to be aware of the naming scheme of your servers in case you might have multiple listed here if you're connected to multiple servers. In this case, we just have the local server, so I'll click next again. Now we can see about halfway down the screen where it says file and storage services, there's a black mark in the middle of this square here, and that's indicating to us that there is some level of configuration. And we can click down in here to actually reveal our configuration options. And right here, you can see the file and SCSI services. Again, we can drop an arrow down here, and this is where we can find those individual roles that we might need for our server. And at the top of this list is what we're searching for. This is our file server. So we'll go ahead and check that. We can see the check mark in the box, which confirms that we want to install the file server. Nothing else after this is necessary for an operating file server. However, I'm gonna elect to install the file server resource manager. This is like a graphical interface for managing the file server. And when we do that, Windows is essentially telling us, hey, you also need to install these features in order to make this work. So we'll click add features to do that. Once we've made those selections, we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And in the features, we don't have any necessary additional selections. Microsoft has already done that for us in the previous step. So we can click through to next again. And then we have a summary, confirmation summary right here. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and click install. I'm gonna check the restart, automatic restart right here. And we'll press install. All right, so going back into the dashboard, we can verify that the installation was successful. We have our tasks up here in the right-hand side. However, we already know that happened, so here's how we're gonna verify. We're gonna to click to Tools. And scrolling down a little bit, now we can see our File Server Resource Manager has been added to the tool section, so we'll click to open that up. I'm gonna minimize this for now. We're gonna come right back to it. Next, we're gonna click back into File and Storage Services. And if you remember, initially we had servers, volumes, disks, and storage pools. Now, post-installation, we have shares, iSCSI, and work folders. And these three elements are directly related to the file server. So we have some setup wizards in here. Work folders are similar to shares and shares are where we can create a file share. And we have all these options within this menu. So again, this is a visual representation of our new file and storage services. So I'll cancel the wizard, minimize the server manager, and we're gonna go back into the file server resource manager. This is where we could set file screening parameters 
and have a little bit of additional control when it comes to our new file server. This isn't a necessary installation by any means and it can always be done after the fact, but we thought it was good to point out to you guys. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about this topic, drop those in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2022, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.